<laughs> hey people, this is Broken Puppet and this is how to draw a classic old school snake. Enjoy. Right people, how to draw an old school cobra head. Now, bear with me this one, it's not too often I really do the old school cobra head, so I tend to always do neo-traditional or realistic. But yeah, should be no problem. Get yourself a nice circular shape. From the top, cut across it like so. And from here, cut down, coming around the outside. Now for this bit here, I'm going to bring in two oval shapes. Quite tight, quite tight and quite boxy, you know, not too overly round. Off the edge of here, I'm going to bring in circles, like just coming off the edge of each other. Slightly, you know, oval shape. Getting slightly wider and then thinner as you go back. Like so. And then you want the same coming down from the bottom. So we're going to start off right, roughly about here. I'm going to arch this one up. And come back. Like so. Top it here. Underneath this two bits to the top. Bring in two sort of long V shapes that curve. That give you a basic tooth shape. And now where you got this circle here, you want this eyeball to fit roughly about here, so not too far down, you want it to be here, quite far up the head, but not too close to the nose, so say about two thirds of the way up, do a circle, come off the edge of it and make sort of like a point, come off the edge, come back and make a point out of it. Now on the top, Similar to how we've done this, but much, much bigger. You want to bring in a big sort of semicircle oval shape. Another one on top of that, not touching the eye, but going just above it. And then one more. I always like to do three when I do these. Then that's going to kind of curve back that way. Now, now we've got this, we're going to sort of come back here to these uh, circles. We're going to bring these up. And these are now going to curve out. Now if you follow this line, and just get yourself a nice bend back off the top. And coming down. You basically just keep doing these ovals. Following that line. Off the top of this, just here, you want to bring back a line like this and sharp it in. Quite sharp as well. There we shape just around the outside of that. And the mouth, starting from roughly about here, so on the top of the mouth, just curve up and outwards. From the bottom, do the same, come a bit closer to it, then curve outwards. Create like a V shape to connect the two in the middle. And the bottom, create a tooth that goes over that bit. A slightly wider one. Now, where you got this, just do like a slightly wider one to create a bottom jaw bit. Now, this tooth kind of going behind that tongue. Coming back, just kind of curve up and connect this part to this corner. So, imagine that kind of curve going like there. And that basically creates the mouth. From here, you want to create the body. Now, the body, if you imagine where you got this circle shape. I'm going to curve with that. So I'm going to curve here and curve there. So I'm going to curve along this sort of side and kind of go into it. So if you imagine it sort of curves around. So this bit is going to be a bit thinner. It's not going to sort of like join up it eyes. The body should be way too fat. And then very similar to the just very big. Just break this into circular curves. Roughly the same size, the same sort of gap. To about so. This little line just down the middle and just create a little one just on it and I'm going to have a little line just curving down 
off of each one of them. To split the body in two. Now this body bit is going to curve back and it's going to join up here. Not onto the body, just a little bit of distance so you've got a bit of flesh just there. And in the middle we're going to place the design in here and then we're going to have this just kind of going into a cut. I'm going to do a few blood drops coming off for this I think. Detail them in a sec. Right, where is my sharpie? Where did I my sharpie go? I was here two seconds ago. Bear me two seconds, people. Mm, scanning, scanning, where it is. So I'm just going to go the line work now. So you got line. So you got that. And I'm going to let the pen kind of control where I go with this. I'm not going to go exactly over the lines. I'm just going to trust it to kind of lead me. the outside bit black. Carry that head bit back. Go through with that curve there. Hard to resist the urge to detail. Most things ain't too bad, but with snakes, I tend to go crazy to detail. You know, but it's always personal preference. You know, some people, you know, love the old school where it's more simplified, and it does look really, really nice tattooed. So I'm going to split this into two different pan works, I think. I'm just going to bring those lines down. Just going to bring a nice squiggly kind of pattern. Just circle a bit inside. And behind that, I think I'm going to section this bit off. I think bring that across. I'm just going to create a nice cross hatch. Across. Like so. Let's 
It's going to do a little flicky line pan just in this gap. Dot I. And it's going to rub out that pencil work and come in with some really hard shading. I'm just going to use my brush markers like I normally do. You can use pens, paints, pencils, watercolours, whatever takes your fancy. Before I do actually, just put a little bit of detail. Ooh, make another there. Yeah, so now I'm going to get my black. Oy. I'm just going to put the black in right across this top. Coming down to about there. And then I'm going to fade this black out. I'm just going to blend this out just as I get to the line. Like so. Now, using that same sort of technique, I'm just going to do that in certain areas like this mouth part. Blend this down. Fade it out. Gonna keep doing this just for certain key areas. I have like an even bit where it's gonna mix in the middle here, I think. Could be cool. Make this one a bit more center so it comes kind of out of the center of the tongue. Just in between these, I'm just going to bring in a little thin curve, just leaving a little white edge at the top, just on that head. I think I'm going to colour in these little circle bits just to black. some black coming out of here. And fading out of that go 
layers at the top. And lastly, I think I'm going to have a bit just fading down from underneath this part. And then I can add some colour. shading and then I can come in with some colour. So first off the underbelly is one it's underbelly red I think. Let's come here, that's just a pro marker. Now there's solid colour and I can just easily go on that block and just fill in this area. So, going to send a bit red in that, and the other bit's red. I'm going to have like little blood drops just down there, or oh, tongue. inside the mouth. Comes up more grey but it just gives it a little tiny hint of colour. And then these bits I'm going to do part orange, part yellow. Doing that the whole way for all these parts. Yellow in here, I'm just going to leave a little white highlight just around the edge. And me brown, I think, for this inside part. Got that, and now let's quickly get this 
Do these teardrops, like you know, blood drops. Literally just teardrop shapes. Black in in the top. Spare any spaces. Black. Got the red. Much how you draw an old school curve, but I think I might do just a little red line just across this bottom part, like so. You can bring it out if you want, you know. I mean, it's not often this is really done traditionally, but. just all the way around the outside. Just the whole way around. And the last little bit. Just to help bring it out if you want. Now you can put a little highlights in the middle, but to be honest, it's not really often used in old school. You, know, you can put a little bit in the your eye if you want. Just a little bit in the belly. Some if you like the teeth, but it's not really too often used in old school. You know, it's old school is more simplistic. It's like beauty and simplicity, you know. But yeah. That is how to do a traditional old school crow head. Hope you like it. Check out my other videos. Like, subscribe, yada yada yada. I'm a broken puppet, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.